Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Like MRI, and this is a 30-year-old professional soccer player. He had pain in the foot, mostly posterior, and on this view we see that the tibia, the big leg bone, comes down here, looks normal. This is the top of the ankle, and there's a bone beneath it called the talus, which is this round area here we call the talar dome. And this makes up the bottom of the joint, this looks normal. We have the heel bone back here, the calcaneus, looking good. We have the Achilles tendon, all the calf muscles attached to that. It comes down here looking good. We have something along the bottom, the plantar fascia looking good. So, so far things look very good. There's no fluid in the joint, no arthritis, so overall pretty good. Now we're going to go along the medial side. On the medial side things look a little funny in here. Normally we have a joint in the back here called the posterior subtalar joint. We have another joint here called the middle subtalar joint. And it looks like those two are continuous like one big joint the posterior and middle and then there's something here in the between them it looks like it bridges so we're going to look up on another view to try to figure out what is going on so this is lateral the fibula this is the tibia the main leg bone I have some nice arrows pointing out an area that looks abnormal so this is the Taylor dome the talus this is the calcaneus beneath it and this joint is too broad so the posterior subtalar joint is back here. And the middle subtalar joint is over this way, but this is just too broad, too large, and a little bit of uh, bony irregularity. So this is an abnormal or anomalous articulation between the calcaneus below and the talus above, and we call this a coalition. And they can happen in different spots. This is one of the more common spots for it to happen in the ankle. Sometimes they can just have cartilage in between them. We call it a uh, cartilaginous coalition. Sometimes they have fibrous material. We call it a uh, fibrocartilaginous coalition. Sometimes there's just a big bar of bone bridging them. We call it an osseous coalition. And in this case, I do not see any bone bridging. There's no big uh, osseous union between these two. So it looks like a, a cartilaginous or fibrocartilaginous coalition. And we do see a little bit of brightness here, which is marrow edema, and that goes along with a cartilaginous coalition. They have broadening articular surface irregularity and they usually get some reactive marrow edema this brightness of the bone here so this is a, an example of a talocalcaneal a talus calcaneus talocalcaneal coalition and thank you very much